Everything depends on how you say it. It's not the line you use, because in any sane mind, can I chat you up is about the worst thing you can possibly say to anyone, anytime, ever. It's how you say it. I'm going to give you a few exercises to put you in state. To put you in a state where you feel confident going up and saying what you want to say. All right, because we've all had times when we've, we know what we're going to say, but then we go up and say it and it just doesn't come out right. It just does not come out how we planned it to. So I'm going to give you some exercises which are going to relax you and actually put you in a, in a state where you think, all right, nothing matters anymore. The exercises themselves sting a little bit. Okay, first thing you're going to do, when you're out with a friend, have a coin between you. Everyone have a coin between you. Now, whoever loses any of the coin tosses has to make the approach. Either person can choose who the set is. What group of girls do I have to approach? Now, if there's any betting men, men among you, any gamblers, you're going to see like this ridiculously difficult set, like 20 people, all look horrible, all look frosty. You're going to say, well, there's 50% chance I won't lose. <laughs> Heads or tails? Do this, and I promise you, you will get into state. Why? Because if we do this just as an isolated thing, becomes really difficult, doesn't it? If I get you to leave this room and go and just approach, kind of, there's no beginning, there's no end, it's kind of difficult to get going. But if you and someone else say, right, there's three people over there, heads or tails? He says heads. <laughs> Fuck. And then you go. It's gonna put you straight in state when you need to be. First exercise. Now here's another tip to get you straight into state. This is a really, really good exercise. By the way, I can, I can sit here and teach you all the conventional stuff about approaching, about comfort building and so on, but you're gonna learn that anyway. What I am about while I'm with you is giving you the edge, is giving you the edge to be in state in that right state of mind when you need to be, so that the adrenaline is going through your body, so that when you need to do it, you do it. So here's the second one. In the same pair, with your buddy, you are gonna give each other the worst possible line you can possibly imagine. Like, I'm talking, no one could say anything like this in a sane state of mind. Just ridiculous lines. You each get one. Now, the rule is, if one of you does it, the other one has to as well. If one of you does it, the other one has to as well. It's beautiful. Why? Because you think two men would be sensible and say, you know what, let's just both not do it. <laughs> Doesn't account for male ego. Male ego is, well, you know what? I don't want to do it, but I really want to see him use my one. So I'm going to get mine out of the way. I'll give you an example of how a friend used this with me. By the way, I don't tell you anything that I haven't put myself through before. I'm not a hypocrite. Any of the pain that I'll put you through, <laughs> trust me, I've been there. So I was with a friend and we were doing this. And he said, right, I've got one for you. He said, I want you to go straight up to those three girls, look them dead in the eye without smiling, flex your bicep, keep looking at them, don't smile, and just say, my right bicep is so strong, and just hold it, and don't say anything. Can you imagine a more awkward situation? <laughs> it was ridiculous. Now, we all know, and those girls knew, that to do that, 
you'd either have to be ridiculously confident or clinically insane. Luckily, they bought the former. Right, so afterwards, I kind of dropped my arm and I was like, can we start again? Maybe. And they were like, yeah. So we started talking and we had a decent conversation. It actually turned out to be quite fun. But the point of the exercise is not to have the best interaction of your life. The point of the exercise is to put you in a state of mind where you can say anything. You feel empowered because all the responsibility is taken off your shoulders for the fact that you didn't come up with that line in the first place. It's almost like a dare. And the very fact that you did it is going to make you feel like a million quid. Because you did it. These things, absurd as they are, will send adrenaline shooting through your body. And by the time you come out, you'll be like, whew, you know what, I'm really looking forward to doing a normal approach now. And then you'll go and do a normal approach and it will feel normal. Whereas right now, a normal approach might feel like absurd, like out of the ordinary. So it messes with your ideas of what's normal and what's not. That's why it works. Here's another nice little trick. Walk up to someone 